What's up, Gigi fam? Grub girls are back. If it's your first time here, welcome to the family. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, drop us a like, to show us some love. Oh, my eye is twitching. If you, she's a little congested, <laughs> if you can hear in that sultry voice she I'm has. I'm a little under the weather, guys. Um, so we're a little day late, dollar short, on this new item that we wanted to drop. The date came out, but we're here. Subway has new side kickers they're called side kickers to go with your sandwich oh. so they have the foot long cookie look at that a foot long cookie foot long churro and a foot long pretzel the theme obviously foot long i feel like right <laughs> off the bat like hearing when you told me because mm -hmm. i'm i'm not a subway girl i don't not at all. She hates it. Um, but when you told me, oh, they're coming out with uh, foot long items, sweet items, I was like, oh, kind of excited. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I know they're trying to pull up all the stops to try to, you know, get back in, into business. Um, but like, I'm kind of underwhelmed. Okay. I feel like, first of all, like these items are already foot long everywhere else, no? Like a Not churro. Not a cookie. A churro is always yes, this long. Yes, the churro. A pretzel, if you unfold it. But they didn't unfold it. The big, the big showcase is the footlong cookie, guys. Because I know people love going to Subway for their cookies. Mm -hmm. They warm this up so it is a warm cookie, and they, it is a footlong. You don't get a footlong cookie. It is the priciest of the three at five dollars for the footlong. Three dollars for the pretzel. Cookies? Two dollars for a churro. I thought it was like three for something. I don't know. I'm not. I don't get the cookies at Subway, mm -hmm. but I'm sure inflation has raised those prices. So we're going to give honest review from just looking at it. I need, why are there no dips? The and pretzel. She's going to talk about the salt. salt. What's going on here? Look at this limper. Come on, Subway. I mean, I would have preferred some salt. Um, the churro, maybe a caramel dip. Like, I feel like all these should have some sort of sauce accoutrement right, you know okay we'll however a, we'll i will now. say this it's not they didn't make these so that at least they were smart enough to get the pretzel from auntie Anne's, the cinnamon churro from cinnabon really? they're working with them yeah hold up stop this the is, press okay this is new information for me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so this pretzel is auntie Anne's name on it they put their name on auntie it. auntie Anne's cinnabon Y'all better come with it because this is your name, your reputation on the line. I'm right now very worried for Auntie Anne's. <laughs> what is this? All right, let's, All right, we'll get, let's just try break, it. Break me off a piece of that. Let's just try it. <sighs> okay. Cheers. Cheers, guys. The piece of, you know, it doesn't have... I, I, you I'm have gonna... salt. Oh my gosh, she just loves salt in her pretzels. Who doesn't? Mm. Mm. Are you sure this is Auntie Anne's? I can't even talk right now because it's so chewy. Mmm. The pretzel balls at Publix are way fr like easier to chew. There's a lot of chew to this. Let me add some mustard. You want some mustard? No. They're right there. I do not. Oh my gosh, I got it on my shirt. Her silence speaks volumes. Let's try it. Have you guys had the Ale House Big A pretzel? That's what I was thinking of the entire time that I was eating it. That is delicious. I said I can't believe that... Not to throw shade on Ale House, because I love Ale House. I can't believe that Ale House has a way better pretzel, in my opinion. It's dense. Mmm. Super. It has a sweetness that maybe I can tell that it came from Auntie Anne's, right? It does but taste this is like not a pretzel. A regular pretzel. No. No, no. You get hints that it's not just a breadstick. Yeah, but yeah. it's not your traditional pretzel either. It's way heavier and dense. I'm eating it because I'm hungry. That's a no for me. Mm. 
or disappointment. I mean, did I expect anything less? Come on now. I feel like I'm a better food, but did they not warm this? I said they, I think they warmed the churro and the cookie, but this well, has a lot to be desired. Mmm. Auntie Anne, take your name off that pretzel. Yeah, not a good look, Auntie Anne's. I no way. Let's go with this pretzel Cinnabon. Uh, you know, Cinnabon for me is not the best anyways, in my opinion. I know it's a big name, but I'm more of a traditional Mexican wow. churro girl. Cheers. Cheers. I would love some caramel dip. Okay. This is not bad. There, there's been weight, like, Costco's churro is disgusting. Really? It's not a churro to me. It looks bread with cinnamon. This... I want to know, where the hell is the sugar? I see it. You don't see it? Do you taste it? It is light on that. Wow. Subway, go ahead and file that. <laughs> Bankruptcy. <laughs> chapter, what is it, chapter, chapter 7? Seven. Seven. Go ahead and file that chapter 7 bankruptcy, man. Y'all ain't coming <laughs> back. This is garbage. They never were gone. They just slipped a little bit because of their they spokesperson gone. went to, you know, J-A-I-L. <laughs> I don't hate the... Okay. I hate it. Pretzel, definitely a 5. I would not eat Four. it. 4. This is what I call... Empty carbs. Not worth it to me. Mm. It is not worth the carbs. When I eat carbs, and they're bad, and I know they're bad, if it tastes good, I don't care. Mm. Now, if it tastes like garbage, like poo-poo, <laughs> I mind. And I get very <laughs> upset. Because that was just a waste of carbs. Oh. I Do you have hope for their cookie? It's I mean, I, in my opinion, like how the hell can you mess up a chocolate chip cookie? I mean, well, if you are. saw, oh, we haven't posted that trash. You can mess up a chocolate chip cookie. You can. <laughs> I haven't released that video yet because I'm <laughs> deciding. But, um, all right, this is Subway's namesake. This is their cookie. Hmm. I provided a knife for us. Would you like a corner piece? Yes, or? I'm a corner girl. <laughs> What's so funny? You're a corner girl? I'm a corner girl. I can girl. find you at the corner? Yeah, find me at the corner, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. She's also a cookie aficionado. You know. All right. Self-proclaimed. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate um, it. I like the middle. I like it soft. Because I'm like soft. Do doughy girl. <laughs> I came prepared. I don't know why I'm smelling a chocolate chip cookie. I mean, I see it looks uh, like the chips are melted nicely. Guys, I'm trying a new comment down below. I took product showcase off so that you can see our beautiful faces better and that it doesn't blur certain things. But now it's harder to focus when we get closer. So tell me mm. on the comments, would you rather just not see our ugly faces as clear? I, I vote for that one. <laughs> <I> <laughs> what mean, do you mean? It's the, really the clear. Is the showcase here. Uh, and we're sorry, we're shaking the camera. Sorry about that. You can see the cookie from here. All right, cheers. I brought milk. Definitely better than JoJo's Shake Bar. Why would you say that? Why? Because I'm getting the same exact freaking vibes. No way. Go like this. What are you getting? <laughs> is this a joke? I don't think it's that bad. The other one was really hard. I almost broke a tooth. Just go. Okay, taste mine. It's because you got the corner here. Taste mine. Go taste mine. And go like this. If you need to. <laughs> what is happening? What, like a burnt pepper? Like an old. It's been sitting there since yesterday <laughs> when it released. I don't taste that. I taste that. What about the middle? It's 
it's a little better. I still taste it. So out the door to try all three of these, you're paying ten sixty five. And tax. this five dollars? Hell no! Are you kidding me? Look how many cookies you got left. I don't give a on gram. Not about cookie. I will say, out of all of them, mm -hmm. this was the better item. It progressively got better. Yeah, I would say that. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe like the cookie ordeals where it's at. You should just come up with a line of foot long cookies and just mm. different peanut butter foot long, chocolate chip foot long, caramel, mm. etc., etc. Um, I got guys. Don't judge it on how much I'm eating. Son of a biscuit, the churro got a mustard. <laughs> And you ate it. Weirdo. Okay. I just wanted to say. Don't judge it based on how much I'm eating of each one. Because I'm just a fat ass. And I'm eating because I'm hungry. We haven't had lunch. True. And and that's bad actually. Oh boy. Here she goes with her is theory. going on while we're starving. So you know that things can taste slightly you give a, better. You have a little more forgiveness when you're starving. Correct. Um, or you're just a little more angry. No, I'm not at that hangry state, so no, that's not true. So, wow. That's, that's terrible. So what Crixley's saying, guys, is this was Subway's attempt to stay relevant, to stay up with the times of social media, like how McDonald's does those celebrity meals. Mm -hmm. And they had this release date on the 18th. And it was underwhelming, to say the least. If you go there sub to Subway regularly, then go ahead and try it. I would get the cookie. But it, honestly, just get the one cookie. Because this is a cookie for a family of four. Who's going to eat a whole foot long in one sitting? Uh, if it's a good cookie, I can eat it easily. Easily. You want to do a... Pazuki challenge on the camera with your fellow grub grub people watching you that you can eat all three You remember that day? You remember that day you said I can, I can eat, eat it. it? People But you have to keep in mind that the pazuki and you can't tell me otherwise because it's like I have it with that And I can't really unhave it with that because that's all I think about when I have it It comes with a la mode like Okay, you can have a la mode, but you can you don't have to eat all three scoops I'll just say you can have the one scoop and you can't eat all three. Anyways, I can I can do that. <laughs> all right, is that our honest I'm review? I'm so upset. I was you, so did excited you... for a sweet challenge finally. Like, oh, I'm like, did you yeah. have high expectations? You don't like I this was... place. I mean, how do you mess up sweets? I'm very just disappointed how you can mess up sweets. <sighs> You just dunk that in sugar and like it. I know be how. Good. Cinnamon sugar. I know how because they're not made in house. I think they're pre packaged and all Subway does is reheat them. Yeah, that's terrible. So that's why it's not good. And that whoever thought that that concept was going to be good it was an idiot. Fire. Done. Well, we saved you guys $10. <laughs> Honestly, the pretzel was the worst. It was too dense. It felt like a brick in my mouth. And it no could, salt. Maybe a little more salt would have saved it. Maybe a cheese dip would have saved it. Maybe no. heating it up in a minute, a little softer would have saved it. But mm, if you have an alehouse by you, though, it, that pretzel they would have to live in the Central Florida. Mm. Are there only in Florida? I think Miller's alehouse is a Florida thing. Really? Let us know. I don't think it's outside oh. of Florida. Well, sorry about your luck, because. That place is good. It's world renowned Michelin star. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, that's our review. A quick, easy video. We will catch you next time. And make sure you hit that like button. It'll help us out a lot. And as always, stay salty. And stay sweet, but not like this. Okay. Peace. <laughs> Bet you she'll eat it later. <laughs> Bet you she'll eat it later.